All right, there's my car, my newest edition, uh, $1,500 car, pretty good deal. But today I'll be de metal detecting in this park here. There's some big boulders there. These are all natural boulders and stuff. Um, grass isn't that green, so they probably won't mind if I dig in it. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm going to do it right. And uh, Anyways, here's the park I'm at. City of Corona. It's a tobacco-free park. I guess I uh, have free tobacco here somewhere, but I don't see any, so... Uh, I guess they're lying, but whatever. I'll try to get some uh, something out of this park. Maybe some change. I got my metal detector. Um, really cheap one from a... Anyways. I'm going to do some metal detector now. Uh, I'll try to do some live digs. If I can't do any live digs... Then um, I might not even post this. <laughs> you guys keep watching my videos, so I keep making them. And uh, the, the park service is here today. So I'll see if they run me out of here. But if not, I'll just do some metal detecting as usual. Okay, bye for now. Alright. I got my first hit. That's a good hit. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and dig it. Live dig here. See what I find. I'm just glad this one's in the dirt. <laughs> see anything so we'll see here this is hard to do you know dig a hole oh great give me one of those signals well oh no it's a root I found something here. Yeah. Looks like a piece of metal just sticking out of the ground there. I really can't get that out. A stake or something. Oh well, that's a live dig for you. Alright, I moved to a different area. I'm up here in the... Well, there's a signal right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a live dig, but... My house is like way down there. I'm up in the hill. There's my car down there. Um, there's Wiley Labs over there. So I'm right on the border of Wiley Labs. Um, I don't know if you ever read the book called uh, by Dean Kuntz. It's called Whispers. This is what he was referring to. Wiley Lab right here. Where they did experiments with stuff. And Anyways. I'm going to go ahead and do this live dig. I'm not going to get into that. Um, Alright, here we go. Let me make sure I got it. Alright, I lost it. Wait a minute. Darn it. Alright, I'm not going to do the live dig right now. Oh yeah. I got that on discriminate, so it's got to be something good. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but. Let's 
go ahead and dig it all up. They're up in the mountains, it doesn't matter. See, I got it on my first scoop there. Oh, first handful. And, oh, it's a big old bullet shell. Uh, I don't know what that is. I can't read it. It's old though. It's like a pretty fat guy. It ain't a shot. It could be a small shotgun, I guess. But anyways, I'll do another live dig when I can. Beautiful up here, though. Oh, while I'm here, look at they were cutting out of these rocks right here. Probably for granite or something. I see numbers on there. It says 10G and it says 2, 1. Has arrows. These slabs have been cut right there, up there. Um, just it's like a little ravine here and all these rocks down here are the broken pieces if I walk over here all this is broken so they were cutting granite I guess I have no idea slabs I guess there's a little road comes up here it's old though some of the stuff I've taken out of here has been really old I mean probably like early 1900s but anyways that's it for now I'll be back all right I just found this uh looks like a piece of rebar or maybe one of their drilling bits awesome Wow, I think that's a drilling bit. By the ends of look at the end of it. Yeah, that's what it is. How awesome is that? Must have broke off. And they're drilling these big old boulders. Cool. I found that baby. That's a good find to me because that's like historical for the spot. I have to. And I found this. Looks like a big tie down thing right here. It's a big anchor. Maybe they were tying them off so they wouldn't break them when they broke loose. Because the slabs are right there. This all looks unstable here. But if you go up the mountain right there, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep exploring and see if they did any more digging around here. This is pretty old stuff. I'll be back. I just thought I'd get this in here. It looks old. And, um, I mean, it's got the square, the square nuts in it, but it does have nuts and bolts, so. And it's got a um, big old bolt on there. But, there's a loop right there. Could it be part of a horse carriage? I don't know. Maybe there's, it's really old, because that drill bit I found looks like one that you do by hand. You hit it with a hammer. And this metal looks really old. I mean, it's solid, but it looks old. I should take this home. <laughs> but I'm not going to. Maybe next time it'll be here. But I'll, one thing I did realize is I'm up here. That's Wiley Labs over there. There's this trail that I'm on looks like it goes right through that fence into Wiley Labs. So this may be really old before the Wiley Labs were there and then the road goes over to here to where they were cutting those big stones. These type. These giant ones, you know. So this road was made to come through this way and down through that way. Not down to the houses like you would think. Because they were probably coming from Riverside. And Norco probably wasn't even here yet. This was probably just nothing. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. This does look like an old road. If that's the case, I'm going to metal detect it and see if I can find a coin. I doubt it after all these years. Though. We've had some pretty good rains. Well, I don't want to drag on. I did find some cool stuff. I'll show it when I get home. But that's it for now. All right, I'm back. Um, I was, uh, I don't know if you can see that hill over there, but I was at the bottom of that hill. 
kind of over in that area down there. Anyways, that's the hill across the street from my house. It's down the street, actually. And I saw where they were cutting. Looks like big, giant stones. Just big slabs they must have been cutting. But I think it was a long time ago. Because this bit here actually has a bit head on it. I'm not too sure if you're going to be able to make it out. But on this end, it looks like they were hitting it with a hammer. Unless it broke off that way, like with a sledgehammer. I think they were actually doing it by hand. Because this looks old. And here's a, a wedge, I'm thinking. And uh, it was also beat to death with a hammer. It's probably a sledgehammer. Back in the day. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, some old time stuff. Got a couple of shotgun shells. Uh, I'm not sure what type. 22 shells. Um, this big one I found, this big bullet, whatever it is, shell. Uh, I found one piece of metal here that I was really amazed with. Oh, yeah, it's this one. No, it's this one. Super heavy, but it bends really easy. Really weird. You can bend it, and uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Where do you find a piece of metal like that? It's heavy like lead, but you can bend it. Hope it's not toxic. Ugh. Great, I'm going to go wash my hands. But here's another piece of a wedge, it looks like. Um, yeah, I could tell by the way it's shaped and it's steel. And some big old nails I found up there. Uh, I don't know what they were using these giant nails for. But they're pretty old. They're not square, but they are old. This one is kind of squarish. But it's probably just because it rusted away. And then I found this dog tag. Interesting. Old dog tag, probably. Now, that's where the coyotes are, so I'm thinking maybe a coyote got it. The dog, but... After looking at the size of this dog tag, maybe not. I don't know. I'll see what it says and uh, see if I can find out anything. Vaccinated 1970. I knew it was old. Wow. That's from 1970. Huh. wonder if that was their guard dog or what. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I was going to go uh, getting gold this time. My son's coming up on Saturday, which is in two days. I have to pick him up from LAX. So I'm going to hang out with him for a while, for a couple days. And then um, then I'll head up there. I know somebody wanted me to do a video on the, on the trailhead, how far it is to Heaton Flats. It's not that far. Anybody can do it, even if you're out of shape. So, um, yeah, if you can wait till next week, I'll have that. And um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye for now.